Yeah, buddy. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> what is going on, guys? It's your boy Childish coming back with the first video post update. Uh, super excited. A lot of good changes going on. I know I don't want to go. You know me. I'm not the guy that likes to go through these updates and give everybody a heads up. But this is one update that we can't really uh, not talk about. Um, new units, yes, I'm excited. But I'm more so excited for the Giants Keep and Dragon's Lair changes. So if you guys haven't checked it out, go ahead and pause the screen. Go ahead and read it. I'm not going to uh, read it out loud for you. I want to get right into it, as you can see right here. I'm I'm, I'm bad at bad at rat it, rat it. Okay, so we're just going to start. Um, we're going to do the rundown, probably from Giants um, B6. So for those that know, um, I've been uh, doing, you know, no imps, no problem. And, 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 you know, I found out that I'm able to basically auto attack this uh, Giants B6. So we're just going to kind of work our way in. Um, I'll add healers as needed and we'll go ahead and um, take it down. So take a look uh, for the boss battle. You got auto mode and attack order. Um, I'm not going to mess around too much with the attack order, but uh, you can see right here what you want to do. Um, I don't even know if they've changed, if they just changed the boss in general or if they changed the towers, you know, what they do. Um, so we'll take a we'll take a quick look here. Um, more than likely, ooh, those guys be hitting a, a little bit harder. Yeah, so um, that right there, those crystals are definitely hitting harder than they normally do. Um, oh, good, good, good. So if you take, nope, I don't I don't know if I seen anything different there. I think the golem looked a little bit different there. Yeah, it looked like it was not awakened. That's right. That's right. Okay, so let's run it. Yep. Yeah. It looks like, what, five? The, the counters kind of go up. Every time he the counter gets going, then he will counterattack. So, interesting. Yeah, I like that. I like that. That's That's pretty cool. So and and when he counterattacks, he's just counterattacking. When his rage count goes up, he's counterattacking, and he's um, he's not doing. He's not doing. Um, you know, it's it's on one person, so it's not like a, you know, like a big thing or whatever. So let's let's take a look here. Um, now we're gonna actually uh, <laughs> we're gonna actually play it a little smart here. Let's go ahead and. This is this is so unique, right? I don't really know what to expect. Um, let's go ahead and obviously we need Hua in there, and let's see. I don't know. We'll just we'll just leave it like this. I mean, I, I've, this is all experiment. I'm probably not even gonna. I'm probably not even gonna like fix the video. I'm just gonna put this out there right away so y'all can see it. And see how far we can get with the changes here. Um, they did mention that the um, content uh, is going to be, you know, a little bit harder to kind of get through. So for those of you guys that have been, you know, autoing certain things or whatnot, you're definitely going to want to make sure that you're focused on the crystals. Um, I, I'm sure that's self-explanatory, but those crystals are going to do more damage. Um, wow. Oh, okay, never mind. Sorry, I thought somebody just got one of the new units. I'm like, what? Like, don't even tell me. That would have been crazy. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see uh, who's going to be the first one to spam spam the chat with uh, some new stuff. So yeah, most definitely here, uh, this guy has a lot more hit points. Mini bosses are a little bit stronger. Um, look at that. Is he even reflecting there? What has he got going on? Oh, my goodness gracious. All right. So just super excited uh, for everybody um, that's uh, getting an opportunity to, um, you know, to do this. I mean, this is going to be awesome for, for people that are um, trying to, you know, get some better runes, so. Wow, that counterattack was stupid weak. Oh, I guess the attacky buff was on, so. Um, oof, well, that one hit. So, 
Yeah, that's kind of weird. I, I'm not really sure why his uh, why his hits were so. Jameer has a thousand defense. Um, Hua has about eight hundred defense. Why is why is he hitting Jameer so hard? I don't know. But I guess what we're gonna have to do now is just kind of focus on the um, uh, maybe focus on that tower there. Let's see if we can get some heals on Jameer. Man, that is crazy. So, I mean, I, I'm I'm still trying to understand it. Why is I mean, Jameer's defense is not really too much higher than than Hua's. Maybe a couple hundred, but it's uh, it's it's just crazy how how strong that is. So let's go ahead and. Um, we will definitely try this B8, and I think this time around we'll go ahead and um, go for a tower here. Cause I don't, I don't even know, I don't even know what, uh, you know what the <laughs> what these towers do. Cause I did it so long, but um, we'll find out. Let's see how hard this crystal hits. If she gets an opportunity to, nope. All right. So, yeah, it's definitely going to be a no-brainer that if you have Hua, you're still going to be using it for every single Giants um, setup, regardless if it's uh, an element that's weak against or strong against. The opportunity to reduce attack gauge is too um, important not to utilize it. Oh, dear Lord. Did you see that crystal take away 75% of my health? Wow. That is intense. So, let's see. What we can do, man, these guys got some hit points, but it's all good. Crystals first, giant second, as always. Yeah, that's cool. They, I guess they did change the look on the thing. They made them just regular, regular, um, giants and not, um, Awakened version. But uh, so far, so good. I think this is where we're going to draw the line, at least with this setup here. I'm going to have to play with different teams um, to do it. I'm not trying to, you know, optimize the best team. I'm just trying to show you guys some of the difficulties. Uh, oh, wow. Some of the difficulties on this. So you, you, you can see right here that I might even have to, now that I'm going to be, you know, playing around in the, B8, B9 range, I'm definitely going to have to bring a little bit more crowd control. Uh, maybe Aria or Clara, um, something of that nature, just to kind of help out, because as predicted, the towers are hitting harder, uh, and they said they would, or the crystals are hitting harder, they said they would. So we need to, um, let me see if I can, can I target this tower? There we go. Oh. Uh oh, uh oh! Didn't I just target that? Why am I? Why am I? <laughs> okay, let's just go for the boss. What the hell? Uh, yeah, I just targeted the tower like fifty times. Um, that doesn't make sense. Wow. So yeah, there's a there's a substantial difference in damage from the giant when he is completely debuffed. Um, that that just blows my mind. But as you can see right here, um, I, I attempted to target the tower, still failed miserably, and and still apparently got uh, Giants uh, keep B8 down. Uh, we'll take it. So that's good. I think we will... Like I would assume that Giants B9 and B10 are... This is going to be like, you know, six-star teams all the way through. Um, should be pretty darn difficult. Um, we'll, uh, we'll run it through either way here. So I'm trying to think of what I want to do. Um, gosh, should we really change anything? I mean, there's not really, um, I mean, Shannon, 
and obviously wind based units not not the smartest thing to do but um, let's go ahead and let me try something I just want to see I don't know what um, you know I, I don't know what all these towers are gonna have so we'll see if we can have a you know beneficial blocker and hope to make sure that he doesn't have any attack buffs Should probably grab a uh, Clara as well. That would definitely help. But at least, at least with Jameer being the only wind unit, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be too bad. I mean, technically, this. Will, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming that I would still be okay to do this one. Or right now, I'm obviously autoing. I'm not trying to, you know, plan out my attack. I'm um, just trying to show you guys you know for somebody that has uh five six star units um and all the five six star units are sitting you know plus you know five star plus 12 runes are better kind of give you an idea of where you're sitting at as far as um you know the strength of whatnot so but i'm i'm sure this would be a whole lot easier if uh if we were manually but you know me i can't be bothered with that manually shit i gotta i gotta be childish like that Got to get it. Got to get a little dessert before work. You know how we do it. All right, so I forgot these guys have a lot more dots, which is fine. 5% of our health, and we I'm healing for 2,500, so I will take that. Um, definitely we'll have to figure out a way to bring Lulu in there. Um, I'm assuming now the damage is going to ramp up on the boss, even though he is supposedly hitting harder. Um, I don't think one healer is going to do it unless you have a really strong healer like a six-star Amon with violent runes or something. Um, you know, a Arena or a Chloe. Chloe, yes, is going to be good for the for the group uh, immunity, but as far as the healing output, um, might not be able to keep up with the Giant's damage. But that's all speculation. Uh, that's a downside for the Epicon Priest. You know, they got their heal every three or four turns, but... You know, it heals for two versus doing group heals um, like Lulu or Amon can do, um, which for me is um, quite a bit more beneficial. Uh, let's see. Come on, man. So Jameer is definitely getting his butt rocked here. Um, this would be this would be very good to have uh, some extra heals. Uh, let's see. Can we take this? Oh. I just want to kind of see how hard the AoE hits. Oh, shoot. So now he should hit pretty darn hard. Um, with the... Uh, with that thing. Yeah, take a look at that. So... So, let's go ahead. What we'll do is we'll run this one back. And we will attack the left tower first. Notice that my... The damage that I took out on him... Uh, was definitely a lot more... Um, I was able to take the hit more... Uh, you know, once he once he didn't have his attack buff on. So what I'm thinking is, you know, for this one, I mean, as far as autoing, uh, it's obviously going to be a little bit slower. Um, but at least since I got Huan there, her attack gauge reduction will basically not allow him to utilize his his left tower at all because she's going to be constantly decreasing the attack gauge on it. And so I can do one of two things where I just sit there and basically you know, take out the tower. Um, cause it seems like with his, with his attacks, I can, I can withstand an AOE, right? So if I wanted to, um, oops, take a hit or whatever, then I can go ahead and, um, how do I say? I can go ahead and just take the, take the hits until the tower is done, then go ahead and take him out. All right, so yeah, super excited uh, for those of you guys uh, keeping up with my channel. Um, we will be doing a summoning session here this Saturday, December 6th. What not a better time than to get it done, um, you know, a few days before they put in the new unit. So um, we'll definitely have to call it a win um, if we get one of the new units. Uh, we'll, have to, we'll have to like treat it as lightning or something like that where... 
if we get lucky for a new unit, um, hopefully one of the four or five star ones, um, we can go ahead and and uh, you know be excited because it's always excited getting you know units that just came out, um, assuming that they're good, right? Um, but so here's the funny thing: take a look at um, how long this one is taking down, which you know rightfully shows should be a little bit harder. So it might even be in our best interest to take out the little guys first. Um, again, I'm not going to be bothered with that right now. We're just trying to get through the content as quick as possible, but. Um, that might have to be your strategy, um, you know, coming up here. Ooh, that defensive tower, or defensive buff, man. That's no fun. So this is working out really good here since he, they keep on wanting to go for Jameer, which, you know, I'm okay with that. He uh, has a ton of hit points, and it works out beautifully for this. So if I start farming Giants keep uh, B9, I'm definitely going to be... Um, you know, utilizing, you know, kind of a wind only here, kind of a setup here. So, so let's see. Boss battle, attack order, left tower. And two. There you go. So we'll have it jump right on it. That's, uh, you know, shout out to come to us for continuing to, you know, improve this game. This is pretty awesome. Um, the changes that they've made. Let's see if we can get our buffs up and take a hit here. Oh, shit. That that attack. That second attack goes big. Um, let's see here. Wow. What is that? Earthquake? Yeah. So his his regular attack um, is not bad. So, if I can get the heals up here. So, it looks like this one I might have to run two healers. Um, Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Who is it? Uh, the, the Hua is getting a little sassy with us here. So, now I'm going to go ahead and switch it up here. Uh-oh. Uh, obviously, there's no point in continuously trying there, but we got... Uh, we definitely can take the hit with the heals. Um, looks like the counter attack, yeah, it's, it's pretty strong. Pretty darn cool. I like it. I like it. Go, Megan. Just, just, just solo this shit. <laughs> Damn, she has a lot of speed. I like it though. Oh my God, she's not. You go, girl. Get it, get it. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So, let's do it again. Let's go. So, I'm not too concerned about trying to get him down as soon as possible. I just want to stay alive. And my second best healer is going to be Lulu. Um, I do one of two things where we can bring Lulu or we can bring Arya. Because Arya has that glancing hit debuff that'll basically work well as well. But we'll we'll play around. I'm, I'm gonna even I don't even know how many videos videos this is. I'm just gonna call this like raw giants footage, whatever. We're just we're just testing the waters here. We'll play around with it. You know, I'll after I get all the footage done between giants and uh, violent, um, or the giants and the dragons, then we'll you know we'll start orchestrating you know new strategies or whatever um i'm not too concerned about it so but uh it looks like the having that attack debuff um is going to be very good the attack debuff, the beneficial blocker will be good. So I, this one might be one where we can, with now two healers, if I if I can land, if I can get those uh, beneficial blockers to land, um, that should be pretty darn good. Oh, don't kill him. Don't kill him. Come on. Come on, Lulu. Man, so this is one of those where I kind of wish, I'm assuming Lulu's skill is not available, um, but, you know, when it's under half, when a unit's under half, they should, she should be uh, focusing on the uh, 
on the unit healing them up. So this should be interesting. I am actually, you know, what we'll do is if we if we uh, fail on this, we'll go ahead and um, run a run B10 just for the hell of it and just kind of see where we're at because considering that it's um it's water based I have a lot of strong wind units uh as well as some water units so I think it'd be interesting to see how hard um you know how hard the hits go let's see so we'll we'll, we'll try we'll, we'll we'll try what we're talking about here let's go ahead and um you know, take a little bit slower pace um, and take this guy out. Oh, let's go I see. Take a little less damage here. <sighs> the good old beneficial blocker. I love it. So definitely more reason to um, maybe even play around with Soha in this setup. Um, Soha with a despair set will help um, get through B9, uh, you know, probably providing some stuns with their AoE attack, and then and then having the cleanse, in addition to Jameer, might be great, because that'll be, that'll even help even more as far as removing the beneficial effects. So, I mean, if, I mean, my, my thought is here, his damage is strong, right? But you can tell with the attack buff, it ramps up like stupid big, so... Um, you know, that's going to be, it's going to be a lot, like, like, like Kanto said, it's going to be a lot more crucial in, in taking out certain towers, um, uh, versus, you know, just trying to beast your way through. So let's go ahead and just go auto mode. All right. Auto mode. Loving it, loving it. Mm-hmm. Slowly but surely we'll get it down. Um gosh, I hope we get some of these uh YouTubers um to do some so many videos too, in addition to the ones we're doing this weekend, because um I'll be looking forward to seeing if anybody gets some good new units and gets some experience. Of course the top end people will probably, you know, drop a couple hundred and see if they get lucky with a new new unit, but we will see. Alrighty, here we go. So the good thing is with Jameer resetting, we'll have, um, you know, buffs up all the time, beneficial blockers up all the time. So I'm excited. Ooh, clutch. Come on, let that beneficial blocker stay up there. Nice, nice. So take note, Hua extended the life of the beneficial blocker, um, but of course the counterattack got the best of her. And we will have to see if uh, we can outlast this one because now we don't have anyone to reduce. Um, ooh, we don't have anybody to reduce the thing here. So, but two healers still strong, um, still going good. Beneficial blockers in. Oh yeah, come on, auto your way through it. Auto your way. Get that attack debuff on. Come on, Jameer, you got to be kidding me. Get the heals. Oh my God, so sick. There we go. Heals up. We got to, oh, Lulu, I love you. Oh, stay alive, baby. Ooh, get it, get it, get it. Oh, my God. Wrong debuff, dude. Wrong debuff. Oh, get a heal. Get a heal in. Get a heal. Fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, shit, shot. <laughs> Lulu can't do it on her own, man. Oh, shit. She is a beast. She is a beast. Remove the beneficial effects, for fuck's sake. <laughs> and attack debuff. Oh, no. Heal. Oh, no. Oh, no. So close. So close. All right. That was pretty cool. Obviously, uh, manually in it is probably good. It's probably good. What I'm going to have to do for the last battle there. Um, autoing is not, um, <laughs> not going to be the smartest thing to do until my units are a little bit more... Uh, OP, I guess. So let's go ahead and take it down or play around with this B10 here. Let's see what we got. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna try Shannon in there. 
Let's get Shannon. Where's Shannon? Dude, I wish Ardella was like less squishy, right? Let me try. Um, should we do it like this or with Lucian in? I mean, Lucian's not going to really help for the, for the last part unless he has. Unless the ignore defense is really high. So, um, gosh, this would be interesting. So, this would be interesting to see if all the towers go for uh, the crystals and the and the the things that go for they go for um, Amon the whole time. Um, I'll be curious to see that because if that's the case, and that might that might even be uh, somewhat of a reason to get um, Arena in there if you guys have a high level Arena. She'll be able to take the hits big time. So, hoping that the damage that we do. God, dude, I, I don't I, I, I'm trying to get to this conversation, but I can't because I'm just still blown away that I'm sitting here like, you know, with not an imp team in B10. This is so cool. This is super cool. Um, trying to get this down here. I wonder, yeah, I wonder how strong Lucian's going to be on that last boss. Um, actually, let's, we'll play it a little bit more safe. Um, oof. So, might have to take either Lucian or, or, Lucian or Ardella out and, and uh, get a second healer in there. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and stop it right now. We don't need to play no games here. I don't waste no time. Let's go ahead and actually, I mean, all, all that's really going to help is, yeah, this is, this is kind of interesting. So let's, oh, just, Lucian will make things a little bit easier, um, just kind of getting there. So let's see if we can get there with Lucian, then we might switch out Della. Obviously, we're not switching out Shannon. Um, I got her set up for despair. Everybody knows that. So her um, stuns will help get through the process. Oh my goodness gracious! Those those crystals came to play. So uh, yeah, buddy. I think Ardella must have one shot of them because I don't I don't remember them hitting me uh, beforehand. So uh, yes, please. Let's focus on the crystal towers. Man, I even I might even want to switch it up here and just. Try to hit this one until, oh my goodness, yeah, look at that. Get some attack slow on it or something, there we go. If I happen to get one stun, I need to switch over and just kill the other one or, or drink it down or whatever. Um, might have to still use, I mean, Hawaii is not going to be smart now if the, if the these crystals are hitting so hard. But, um, I don't know, shit. All right. So very, very cool. Like so now, I mean, you know, in all uh in all fairness, this should not be one that I could attain with the team that I have. Um they want this to be, you know, a full blown six star team, full blown six star runes. So we should get our ass handed to us. Uh I don't even like I said, I'm pulling a blank right now. I don't even remember what, what the towers do. I think one was a defense break. Um, so I don't know if they change the towers here. But uh, they did make note that it's it's probably going to be in our best interest to um, take out certain towers, you know, prior to. So maybe what I'll go ahead and do Is I know that the having our defense breaking is not going to be good, but the oh shit oh <laughs> oh man can we make it to the end oh shit this is they came to play all right this is this is intense this is intense all right so let's see let's bring more crowd control right. Um, oh, buddy. 
Yeah, I really can't bring Clara. Okay. Let's try it like this. We're, we're just playing around here. We're playing around. Glancing hit, even if it doesn't stun, is still going to be good. That's still going to reduce the amount of damage. Once the stun's in there, guys, take note. I'm switching over. We are... We know that they hit stupid hard. Um, so we're going to be focused on uh, trying to just get these towers down. Oh, my goodness. Don't hit. Oh, kill him. Oh, my God. Oh. Bro. So if you're one with the quick fingers, you best watch it. Because if I, if I see myself get that random sleep on, you best believe I'm a... I'm gonna try to leave it on, but it, you know, with AOEs and stuff like that, it's it's not gonna be able to work out too well. I'm just trying to get to the end, we'll see, so we can see how hard this is. Oh man, B10, they came to play. They came to play, and I think what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and stop the video after this one, because um, it's just it, now it's gonna be getting too long and. I want to show a little bit more here. Oh, shoot. I, I just looked at my team. It's like, everybody's frozen. Oh, man. Let the grinding of the Giants keep begin. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, so I, honestly, if I can't take B10 for a while, that's fine. Um, I should be able to manual B9, so that's exciting for me because, um, you know, I, that's what I did with Giants, you know, keep uh, with the imps, you know, on the side, so... And that gave me, you know, the majority of my goods, five-star, six-star runes. So as long as I have an opportunity to still get the high-end runes, um, that'd be good. Stuns for days. Love, Miss Arya. Love, Miss Arya. I just had a, a buddy of ours in our line group make a six-star unit, um, and he used, I think he used Arya as one of the fodder. I was like, no, don't do it. But he was set on it, so I'm like, all right, all right, do what you got to do. Hurt me to see it because she's so good. She's so good. Damn, this guy's hitting like a freight train. Get those heels in, Lulu. Do something. Thank you. <laughs> he was sitting there like, all right. So glancing hit, it's good. Take it a little bit longer. Obviously, this is all support. So this is like stupid long fight. Um, the the downer here will be um, no, since it is all support, I don't have Hua in there. And Hua was my... Kind of make you know this. That's the typical DPS that people have been using for this uh, for this setup here. So, oh, you're freezing the wrong people. I'll tell you something. All right, we obviously need to focus on this guy because he just wants to kill. He just wants to kill her like stupid quick. There we go. Get ahead of the game, bruh. Get ahead of the game. All right. I can't. That's the. I wish they would change the, the, the setup right here with the hostile effects. You can't even see what's on the one on the left side. That kind of sucks. <laughs> but that's all right. We got it down. Slowly but surely, we will get it down. Rune removal, December 4th through December 5th. 12 a.m. to 12 a.m. So you better jump on it, free-to-play players. That is what we need. It's funny because I, I thought they were going to do it at the end of the month last time. But, of course, they wait two to three days after I remove about 300,000 worth of runes. But it's okay because I still have plenty of runes to remove. Um, I'm assuming that... The uh, water imps are not, you know, the in team is going to be, it's going to be a, a rest in peace, you know, not going to be able to utilize it because uh, these units are stronger. They're going to be resisting more. 
which truthfully, I, I don't, I, I'm, not, I'm not even going to test it. Like, I don't even, I don't see that. The only reason why we all have in is to do B9, B10, right? So why keep them if they're, if they're, if, if now they're making it easier for us to do it with our regular team. So, uh, that'll be good because it'll allow me to, um, make, um, a stronger, uh, or get my six star, my next six star up sooner. I have about, I think 20 or so, um, four stars. I need about 25 four stars, um, to evolve all these four star extras that I'll have. Now I'll have what, four extra five star fodder junk with all the with all the uh, imps. So yeah, this will be interesting. This will be interesting. So it looks like this time around we will get to uh, play around with the boss. We'll see how hard he hits. Um, I think, what was it? Was it? Maybe one of them was a hit point disturb or something. I don't even remember. Hit point disturb and defense breaker or something like that. I just remembered that they none of them were attack based, right? So if they change that aspect, then that would suck. So we'll see. We'll maybe attack the right tower for now. Ooh, he has an attack debuff or attack buff. Uh oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, buddy. Yeah, buddy. So, I don't remember him having attack. Or maybe he did? I don't know. All right. Yeah, so that guy, you're going to need that six-star team uh, top-notch. All right. So, all right, guys. We're going to call this video right now. Uh, stay tuned. If you are catching this uh, this morning, Tuesday morning, I'm going to get back at you with the uh, vi uh, violent, sorry. I keep on thinking violent because that's all I like. The Dragon's Lair is coming up next. So take care, guys. Your boy with Childish plays. Checking out. We will see you on the next video.